All right, folks, this is Super B1970. Um, this is a digital 8 bit ripple counter. Uh, ran it, running it using uh, Logisys, Logisim Digital Logic Circuit Simulator. It's made up of uh, 8 JK flip flop gates. Um, this is for my uh, computer science, uh, computer architecture class at A&M out here in uh, Central Texas, uh, Killeen, Texas, USA. Oh, and a uh, cool part is uh, I could not get the Logisim program to work directly on my Windows 7 laptop. So I installed VirtualBox and installed uh, Windows 8.1 that you get free from uh, DreamSpark if you're a college student. Uh, DreamSpark is a Microsoft uh, store for, for college students. Anyway, um, okay, Windows 8.1, it works. Um, I put uh, I assigned two gigs of RAM to the VirtualBox for the Windows 8.1. Uh, it worked up until I uh, Fed the circuit up, the clock frequency up to over, I believe it was over 64 or 128 uh, hertz, and it just shut down the entire uh, virtual box actually, overloaded my CPU, uh, and so um, Earlier, um, I, I made a previous video on a 4-bit uh, ripple counter, uh, and I did that because I couldn't, I didn't have enough room to uh, put all eight JK flip-flop circuits on one screen. Uh, but I figured out how to uh, be able to fit all eight, so I uh, doubled the 4-bit, turned it into an 8-bit ripple counter. And uh, the first four bits of the circuit are on the left side, the second four are on the right side. The uh, binary counter is in the center at the top, you can see it. And I'm speeding up the hertz here. Was it one hertz? So you could see it, what all was going on. Now it's at uh, four, I believe. Ticking away, you can actually still see the ticks. Okay, so it started over uh, once it counts. So this circuit counts from 0 to 255, that's 256 uh, digits, right? And uh, once it hits the 255, it just starts, it just repeats, it goes back to 0 and uh, counts back up. That's what it's doing here. Pretty fast. Seemed to work okay. And this is what I actually turned in uh, for class. Alright. And I believe I speed it up. I speed the. Uh... I, speed, I speed the clock up uh, significantly towards the end. Yep, looks like I'm reaching for the, the uh, ticker right here. Let's see. The mouse was giving me a hassle for some reason. Frequency, okay, that was four. Oh, yeah. Let's see. 16. I'm running this on uh, two screens, uh, the uh, laptop screen and an external 52-inch monitor. I call it a monitor. It's a Sony. Flat panel. Ah, there's a CPU. That's the real CPU on the actual laptop. 
pegged pegged and the drive that, those red lines are the uh, drive uh, hits or the memory errors wow yeah I think it's about to, to break yep there it goes all right no not yet I think it's about to bite the dust. Or it froze. Let's see what happens. Enjoy the music, I guess. Okay. Yeah, every time you go out bring your mouse out you want to bring your mouse outside of the virtual box it uh, it asks you and when you bring the mouse the pointer back into the virtual box it asks you if you want to capture yep there it goes the virtual box actually died because I overclocked the uh, clock within that simulator interesting all right Enjoyed. Have a good one. Bye.